my friends how are you today in today's video I am going to try my hand at a destructive bloom by Karen at waterfall acrylics I am going to do it on this 12 by 16 inch canvas and I am using uh, piggies. I am using Glidden Essential as my pillow paint. You can get that at uh, Home Depot. Here we go. Today's colors, I am starting off with, well, it's going to be one of the colors, but it's my main color. The new TLP, this little piggy mint chip, inspired by Lisa Marvin. You should go check her channel out. Oh my god, I love this green. And of course, since I'm doing a de deconstructive bloom, I am using... TLP Waterfall for Karen at Waterfall Acrylics. I'm also going to use Agapanthus because, oh my gosh, who doesn't love Agapanthus? Look at this. And I'm going to use some interference. I'm using Velvet, which is a blue interference. I'm not sure if you can see the shimmer in that or not, but I can. As well as sequence which it gives off a violet sparkle yes. these are my colors and i'm using my cell activator i'm going to use titanium white i don't know it seems a little on the runny side so hopefully it works i tried to thicken it up australian floetrol with titanium white i do usually two parts australian floetrol to one part paint and then i didn't have a lot of black i'm gonna use two cell activators now this is thicker so i don't know how this is gonna look i mixed uh lamp black i think with uh mars black yeah why not right i am going to put down my base i will bring you back after i'm done this and we can start putting down the paint I have taken out the velvet and the sequence and am going to use just the waterfall mint chip agapanthus and I'm bringing in lemon, lemon sorbet as it is my favorite and I'm going to put down mint chip first as I really find when I did it the last time with the mint chip down first I got more of it and I like that. I think I'm gonna scrape this and pour paint while this is settling down.
With this painting, I thought I would add some trees here and a moon. It's going to be sort of like a night sky and I'm thinking of me putting in an aurora borealis and this is a little bit of cloud. I like the movement that it gave but there was just not a lot here and I thought very winter scene maybe at night with the moon and the shadows. So um, I just sort of penciled in some trees here and sort of put a line and where I thought the moon would hit the tree to give that shadow effect on the snow. And hopefully it will turn out awesome. Let's get started. Here is the finished painting. I added some bushes along the horizon line and I did try to put in uh, northern lights but I didn't like it so I took it out and I like this better. Sometimes less is more and I really liked it and I really enjoyed it. Thank you all for joining me today in this collab. The mint chip is still there so it does look like aurora in my eyes anyways up next is kathy from grandma kathy's art venture please stay tuned i just want to thank everyone for being here and i hope you guys all have a wonderful week see you in the next one bye